What is going on everyone, JT Judgment here and I am back today with another player review. Today we're going to be looking at the man of the match 87 rated Marco Royce. So his card face stats is 93 pace, 90 dribbling and 90 shooting. Insane 3 stats there guys. 82 passing, 50 defending and 63 heading. So for card face stats guys, they are pretty epic, I'm not going to lie. But let's have a look at his in-game stats and see if they are just as impressive. And at first glance, you guys are just going to see a sea of green stats. I mean he's got high 90s, high 80s, pretty much everywhere. Um, and as usual, I will highlight a few. He has got 99 long shots, 92 curve, 94 dribbling, 93 finishing, 95 shot power, 87 free kicks. I mean, the guy has just got insane stats everywhere. <laughs> I mean, as you can see with his physical attributes as well, they're pretty much all high, high mid-90s, low 90s. Uh, when it comes to mental attributes, the only one worth looking at is his 85 attack positioning. But um, just in general, stat when it comes to stats with the man of the match, Marco Royce, he is no disappointment by any stretch of the imagination. So that's the team we're playing him in, guys. It is the full in-form Bundesliga within form Podolski. And let's get into the review, guys. So everything that I've got to say about Marco Royce is probably going to come to a surprise to pretty much everyone watching this video. Um, unless, obviously, you've used him and you think exactly the same as me. Um, but I've got to say he's a disappointment. Now, when you, if you've watched, you know, some of the big YouTubers that have reviewed him, you know, for example, Itani, Alp27HD, they've all said that he is one of the best players in the game. I've actually seen some player reviews where they've actually said that he's better than Ronaldo. I really cannot agree with those statements, guys. Uh, but I will go through each stat to let you guys know uh, what I thought of him. When it comes to pace, guys, 93 pace with him seems about right. He is a very, very quick player. Gets off the mark very quickly. And once he's gone, there is no catching up to him. Dribbling with him was pretty awesome. For 90 dribbling, you do get a very, very good dribbler. I was dribbling in and out of players with ease. And just in general, when it came to dribbling with the man of the match, Royce, I had a lot of fun. Uh, shooting with him, I've got to say, is a disappointment. Um, as you saw earlier, he has got 99 long shots. But if you, I don't know whether you guys have noticed, but every goal that I've scored with him that is in this video, they are all inside the box. I could not, for the life of me, score a long shot with this guy. It was so frustrating seeing that he's got 99 long shots. I was expecting to score at least attempt you know, um, challenge the goalkeeper with every single long shot that I took. But they were wide all the time, they went high all the time. And just in general, when it came to long shots, it was the most frustrating thing, guys. It was unbelievable. Uh, moving on to his passing. Um, he was he was surprisingly a good passer, seeing as he only has 82 passing. He did set up a lot of plays for Podolski, Gomez and Farfan. So, you know, it was a nice surprise to see that he did um, set up a few plays rather than, you know, just, you know, play on his own and, you know, sort of just keep the ball to himself and score, basically. So it was nice to see that he could set up goals as well as score them. Um, heading with him, you get what you expect with 63 is not the best, guys. Uh, so we move over to my final thoughts now, guys. And as you can see, with his strengths, he is very fast. He is an awesome, awesome dribbler. He's got four-star skills and four-star weak foot. And like I just said, he is a surprisingly good passer. We'll move over to his weaknesses now, guys. And he's got medium, medium work rates. Now, if you're using him on the left forward position or the left wing position, you're going to feel the full force of the badness of his work rates is the best way I can put it um, he is out of position a lot, he's got the same work rates as non-informed, well he's, well, Neymar, he's got the same work rates as Neymar and for for those of you that have used the um, any versions of Neymar, you will know that, you know, medium medium work rates is not the best 
Um, he is weak, he is poor in the air, and his shooting wasn't as good as I expected it to be. Now, is he worth it, guys? As you can see, I've got to say no. He did not feel as good as I expected, and I really don't think he's worth his current price tag. Um, I've got to say wait until team of the season. If this video is released after the team of the season is released, <laughs> then by all means, I'd go for the team of the season mm -hmm. version because he's surely going to get a team of the season version. I've given him an 8.5 out of 10. Now, if you're thinking, JT, why have you given him such a high rating if you think he's a bad player? Well, if you compare him to every other player review on YouTube, well, pretty much all the other reviews on YouTube, they've all given him a 9.5, if not more than that, out of 10. So, if you think of it... 8.5 is pretty low for a player that everyone thinks is a 9.5 rated and higher player. So, yeah, 8.5 is as best as I could give him, guys. Uh, bottom line, wait till the team of the season card comes out. Avoid the man of the match, Roos, if, uh, if, if, in my opinion. Um, but... You know, if you haven't tried him, then try him. Because, obviously, there's all, all these other YouTubers that think he's amazing. And there's me, the odd one out, that thinks he's a waste of money. So, you know, um, it's up to you. Don't take my word for it. If you've got the coins, then by all means, try him out. See what you think. And, yeah, that'll wrap up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my Man of the Match Marco Royce review. If you did enjoy, hitting that like button will be greatly appreciated. Especially, um, as well as hitting that subscribe button. It really will help me out, guys. And yeah, this has been JT Judgment. I will see you all in the next video. Ta-da, guys.